Hey there, this is Stan Arthur with another super quick tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro 5 and 5.5. Uh, this one comes from a question from New Woodworker on the Adobe Premiere Pro forum and uh, wants to know what the mystery bar is and what, what that is. That's, that's basically called the work area bar and he wants to know how to use it, how to manipulate it, what's it good for. Well, we have the playhead here that uh, and we've got a timeline here, a sequence that is, with uh, clips on it and an audio uh, track, uh, music track added, blah blah blah. Now the work area bar is manipulated by grabbing the handles and moving it uh, and, and you can see with the snap uh, enabled that it will snap to uh, where clips are are cut, um, that sort of thing. Now what would you use it for? Well, uh, you can move the entire thing, by the way, by putting it right in the center where this indicator is here and dragging it. Uh, it just depends. If you, if you want to, uh, say you want to render just a small portion uh, of your video for, for previewing, then adjust the work area bar to that portion that you want to preview, and then hit your Enter key and watch as that portion is then just rendered so you can play that back and watch that portion. Um, that's, that's a good use for it. Oh, how, wait, how do I get it to snap right back to the entire uh, sequence? Well, that's easy. Just double click on it and it automatically just uh, goes right out to the entire sequence. Uh, there are other shortcuts as well. I can move my playhead to a part where uh, I want uh, uh, a preview section to end, and if I hit, uh, if I hold Alt and hit the close bracket key, my work area that will then uh, just snap right to that place. Uh, additionally, uh, if I hit the uh, start bracket key or whatever it's called, I hit my Alt key and hit that, and and uh, the, the beginning of the work area will then uh, truncate to that area if that's the right word to use, I'm not really sure. One of the things that makes the work area bar uh, very useful is, uh, let's see, let's uh, go ahead and say we just want to export to a new f movie, a new, uh, a new exported clip, just, just this area here. Well then we're going to set the work area up for that. File, Export, Media, and wait for the Export Settings uh, window to come up. Okay, now once that has come up, I'm going to set my uh, my output format. In this case, it's H.264, and I'm going to choose uh, uh, 1080p 29.97. And now I have the option of either exporting the entire sequence or just the work area, the work area that I preset. And uh, that's basically it. We can export it, put it to the render queue for Adobe Media Encoder, and uh, that's that's pretty much the purpose of the work area. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.